or kill the other enemy opponents to level up quickly, as well as uh, getting the monsters into place. And speaking of heroes, we have people in the lobby already. Team, team is Google is, has banned Link and Team Creator, or Creator Team uh, have banned Export. I believe. Both Your meta heroes uh, in this particular season, if I'm not mistaken. So I think everybody is playing it by uh, the relatively uh, international standard Your at this point, banning the, the, the more powerful heroes uh, reflective of this season. Oh, they clearly know what they're doing because we see a Grog being picked out on the side of creator team. This will be a very, very key pick because this is a tank that can deliver a lot of crowd control. What does crowd control mean? Let me tell you a little bit about that. Crowd control is you get to kind of stun the enemy, you get to control their movement so that they can't move while you deal damage to them. So very, very key pick here. Some interesting selections as well from Team Google. Uh, we have Lapu Lapu, I think one oh, wow. of the, the less uh, uh, less known heroes. But so I think it's going to be a very interesting choice uh, to, to be selecting at this point. Wisdom 87 has Gord, which is also uh, a mage, right? So I think mm -hmm. there's like different classes across. You've got fighters and tanks and mage and support units. So we've got one fighter and one mage on Team Google at the moment. Your team is picking. Yep, and we see actually a interesting pick. Masha is being picked here on the side for and creator team as well as Chao. Your team is All right. Out. Wow. Well, I think Chao is, a, is, is definitely a, a very flexible choice. You know, I think Chao uh, is typically classified more as a fighter category, but in some instances, they, it can sometimes double up as a tank as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it really boils down to the kind of different builds that Karim Sado actually wants to actually be able to take across. Your team yep, and then we see on that side Franco being picked. So, so a little bit of trivia, right, as we go through the picks and bans and why this is happening is it's a very tactical move to actually have heroes being picked and you being able to see what the enemy side is picking because you can kind of decide to counter them in the spur of the moment. If you know roughly what they're selecting, you can choose the heroes that can counter their specialties or their special abilities and, you know, work accordingly. So very, very interesting session happening. Here. That's right. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit like football, actually. So I think that there oh, no. lies like the strategic elements, Your right? Because you kind of want to decide if you actually want to go with one tank and two marksmen or a support hero. And the different area of skills uh, uh, places a lot more emphasis on team play as opposed to like individual uh, styles. So very, very similar to football. The team dynamics is like super, super important. Mm, speaking of teams, right? Team Google here has been playing every Friday. <laughs> we think they are the team to beat. Team uh, creators, however, have had the longer advantage. They've been in Mobile Legends for Harry. such a long time. So now Your we have the full team, picking. or almost the full team. We're waiting for Yao Guy to pick his hero, and it's gonna be Tigreal. Tigreal. Yeah, it's it's looking like um, you know the uh, a very fighter heavy team uh, on 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 the the left side on Team Creator at this particular juncture. Uh, you've got Fusion as an assassin, very very deadly. Um, and on, on the other side, uh, we have um, a little bit more balance. Two tanks. Um, you know, Team Google has decided to go with two tanks. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting composition. What do you think of um, what the two teams have picked and what do you think their strategies are at this point in time? Yeah, I think uh, at this point, I think Team Google is a, a little bit more tank heavy at this particular juncture, and they they do have like two tanks on their side. So I, I think they'll be looking to actually try and sustain to actually buy more time uh, for their marksmen to actually be able to ramp up. And uh, Team Creator, on the other hand, um, you know, I I do see that they're a little bit more balanced. They've got like three fighters. Yep, and I, we're going in game now with the action. Let's see Smash what them. happens in this exciting All match. Again, support. Creator Team versus Team Google. This is a best of one, which means the person that wins today gets bragging rights. Really, that's all it is. It's a show match. <laughs> All players are now uh, getting into their respective lanes and uh, um, look, looks like there that, that could possibly be some early activities right now as a team creator takes on a little bit more of an aggressive stance at the bottom lane. Yep, so team creator is 
in the jungle as well, trying to get their first uh, buff. All right. Blue yep. So I, I think you know. I think what everybody is doing at this moment is what the gamers tend to term as jungling. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to actually taking on the monsters in the lane, you venture into the forest where there are uh, special creatures, and if you if you get them, you sort of get like a temporary uh, a power boost, if yep. you will, and that allows you a key advantage when it comes down to like skirmishes with the enemy. So not much activity happens at the early stage of the game. Usually it's about getting gold, getting the items, right. and also. Also trying to see if there's an opportunity maybe to kill one or two enemies before you move on because the early stage tends to be where people fall behind a little bit if you're not very careful. So we see Eduardo and Mark Marquez going in on Quayley. Quayley goes First down, blood. but the Yao guy is still alive. Right and into the tower, like there is team creator is bringing it, and then right off the bat we have the first kill. Yeah, and we have. Oh, Flav's trying his first hook, and uh, you know, landing in the right hero can really, really swing this back to an instant reply from Team Google. Yeah, but so far the score is 1-0 to the creator team. In the mid lane, we see Wisdom 87 and Fluffs, but turtle in, the, in the turtle area, we see Tigreal kind of like in the zone, Masha waiting for the, for the turtle to come up. She's probably going to go and get in on that action right now. Yeah, I think it's gonna be super critical to try and get that team turtle as well. I, I think out, out of all the different jungle uh, creatures that are out there, a turtle gives the entire team Goal and experience and the power buff to the Absolutely. last Absolutely, and now they're going in on Quayley. Quayley Ikuto takes a lot of damage, but Quayley dies oh almost instantly. Yao guys gonna go down oh. as well, and that's a double kill. Double kill for a team creator. That's four to zero. <laughs> no response yet. Uh, team Google trying to marshal together some semblance of a strategy right now. Um, could there be a little bit more activity that's happening in the center? Yeah, so Grok is at the center. He's trying to see if there's an opening. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, we're, I think they're pulling back a little bit because like Team Google's playing a little bit more careful now. I think they're they're aware that they're falling a little bit behind. But Grok Request is just backup. roaming into the enemy Request jungle. He's backup. just standing there. He, I think he wants to go in. <laughs> As with, as with all strategy, like remember, the objective of this game is not about killing the enemy heroes, although that gives you uh, a, a bit of a leg up, but the objective is to kill oh, the enemy base. Baby Lao goes down oh. to the team. Fluff is trying to get away. Fluff is moving. He's moving. He's running, but he will get... Wisdom 87, what are you doing peeking out there? Trying to put together <laughs> some semblance of a pincer attack, but there's just too many from Team Creator bunched up in the center lane at this particular juncture. Yeah, so notice how Team Creator it's kind of like moving in a group, right? So this gives them the numbers advantage. Arian as well coming in. Wisdom 87 taking some damage here. He's gonna go down oh, so close to the so tower. Close. Oh my god. And here comes the Calvary. And all the action is now centered into the mid lane. Oh, good hook by Fluff. Fluff. And Yao Guy jumps in. Yeah, Yao oh. Guy jumps in. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> really, really fast. The damage coming here from this team is phenomenal. Baby Lao and Fluff now trying to defend this tower, but it doesn't seem like they're going to be... Oh my god, it goes oh, in! There it goes, okay. Turtle Did Eduardo venture out a little bit too far? Uh, no, no, this man clearly knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. They basically take the damage of the tower for each other so that they don't go down completely while the others deal the damage that they need, right? But notice also, like again, I said, they're moving as a team. That's going to be crucial if Team Google's going to come back from this. Quaintly. Super coordinated at the moment. Uh, you've got Quaintly uh, stuck, uh, but Fluff and the team comes ready together very quickly Initiate from like, Team Google at this moment. Oh, Wisdom 87 getting caught by the wall there, but I, I think they've started to stick as a team, so... Look at that. Uh, is this Will this be the, the beginning of the turnaround? This could be the beginning of a turnaround, but I'll reserve my judgment for when they get a kill. Absolutely. So far though, this tower is definitely going to go down. Quaintly is probably going to get stuck, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, they're getting there we some go. damage so onto Yep. Yep, Wisdom 87 activating his ulti, uh, which generally comes on when you level up before oh, and above. But Quaintly Bastard. falls behind and gets taken down. Oh, that oh, is an that's... amazing 3-man knockup by... Um, yeah, Very good spray. crowd control Karin over there. Sado, yes. All right, yeah. Zerg by response. Whoa. First kill for Team Google. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> good job, Team good Google. Good job. There we go. Scores at 11-1 at the moment. 
Um, <laughs> they're, they're basically really happy right now because uh, they got a kill. <laughs> all right, but Team Creator is playing very pragmatically at the moment and gunning after D Towers. And, you know, as, as it is, if the towers continue to go down, uh, that's just going to expose uh, the base for Team Google a little bit too early. Yep. And that, you don't want that. So notice how when the base tower went down, it said Super Minion Mobilize. That basically means that the minions get stronger. And as they get stronger, it's going to get harder for them to be able to defend the base so the game can come to an end. So we'll see how Eduardo and Mark Marquez are yep. playing this crowd control game. Notice how, what I said about the wall earlier. And what it goes go, in, there it goes. Who pulls the out guy back? But oh, that's a, that's a very close hook that Flop's getting over there. We are now six minutes into the game with the average game uh, usually being 15 to 20 minutes. So we, we will we see this game Turtle reach a conclusion soon? soon? Oh, we hope not because, um, you know, there's like a... It's only six minutes into the game. Let's, let's make it a little bit longer. Team Google, you got this. <laughs> uh, we see... Now though, creator teams basically knocking at the door. Barbarians uh, at the Google's gate. Is. We have here barbarians at the gate. Barbarians. I would say warriors more than barbarians. Oh, you've got, you've got, you've I, think, got I think warriors sound quite, better. Literally yeah. all three of them for like team creator. Oh, uh, in the meantime, turtle goes down as well. Uh, something very, very easy. All right. Oh, there goes the knockout from Kyrie's okay. side. Oh, he goes that in, but nice shot pull down. into the tower. That's amazing. That Kills Karim Sado and Quaitly goes down though, so it's a 12 2. But very good trade uh, from Team Google. Ikuto trying to take the top tower at the yeah. moment. Uh, no, not today, says Flaps as he activates the ulti. Not today. <laughs> good try, good try. Good stuff coming up from Team Google there. But oh, very good hook from Flaps. Takes Mark Marquez into the range of the tower, but he just goes away. Uh, no one He's is fine. manning the top lane at the moment, and Wado is just absolutely walking in here at the moment and saying, Look, this is me. This is this is where I am going to to hang at your base. He's gonna hang out. He's gonna chill. He's gonna put like a beach chair in the base and sit there and wait. But no, no, no. So basically, <laughs> they're really trying hard. Team Google is trying to defend. You can see like if they move in, they get forced out. You know. So Team Creator actually doing decent work. But Baby Lao takes a lot of damage. They oh, managed to get the damage get one. down. All yes. right. Um, but there is absolutely uh, one down for Team Creator, but they are still absolutely piling on the pressure at the Double moment. Kill. Oh, is that the first hit of the base that we saw? Yeah, but that's okay because they managed to chase <laughs> the Team Creator away with that kill. So now it's 15 to 4. We see in terms of gold, um, obviously the Creator team has the gold lead and the kill lead as well. But, you know, Team Google still has a chance, still can come back. It's yeah. not a problem. It's, it, it is somewhat of a widening gap though, as I, I can, you can see that the average uh, level uh, for Team Google is about 7 to 8 at the moment, whereas Team Creators have somehow broken into the double digit levels. Um, but they have somehow let up the pressure a little bit. And uh, t could this be Team Google trying to organize some semblance of uh, a counter attack? Look okay, at the team coming soon. up from the team creator. Uh, they're just kind of standing in. This is my definition of a beach chair, oh. like just spreading it out. There we go. Marquez getting oh, a little right. bit uh, uh, too close to the team for liking. Oh, the guy goes down. No, no, oh, just really, kidding. He, he, has ah. his, uh, he has his item that allows him to actually uh, uh, reincarnate. That's what it is. He will reincarnate, but you know, that basically means every tower in the Google base has gone down at this point. That was oh, a 5 bad knockout. Holy! Look at oh, that Yao guy taking going... a lot of damage. Quaily as well will not go down though, but other members of Team Google goes down. Killing spree. Excellent, excellent tanking by the Grog over there. It retreat. was a 1 to 4 trade off. And there is nothing left at this particular juncture but the base. <laughs> but the creator team's like, yeah, I'm just gonna chill. Yeah, I and think I, I think we're looking at a GG.com right. here, Mitch. <laughs> and that is game. That is game, everybody. Thank you so much for playing this show match. Team Creator wins against Team Google. It was a great show, right? It was a great show. I enjoyed Nine it. Nine minutes in, every part, every... Uh, I think Team Creator was just absolutely bringing their A game, like, every step along the way. I think the one that really jumped out to me was, like, how Grog was, like, masterfully sort of, like, leading the charge.